What's up guys, today we got a pretty cool video. As you've seen our RBRT bit demo that we did, um, pretty impressive, but they got some bolt, broken bolt extractors, excuse me, that work even better. So let's take a look at this demo. You guys, come on. So the man himself is back with Matt Tools RBRT, and he has brought some broken bolt extractors today, and he's going to demo them and show you how awesome they are. So I'm going to let him take the reins and run this pony down the road because he knows way more about it than I do. Hey guys, Dan Steyer with the RBRT team here again today. I'm going to talk to you about our new broken bolt extractor with FOR technology, foreign object removal technology. That is it right there and as you can see at a glance it is a straight cut extractor not a tapered extractor like that one see how that one is tapered mine is a straight cut and what that means is when you drill a hole snap the head off a bolt and drill a hole and you bang in my extractor you get bite 360 degrees and all the way down not like a tapered extractor when you drill a hole and you bang it in you only get bite at the top leading edge uh -huh. right one of the other things about a tapered extractor over my extractor is that when you bang it in and you apply torque, it stretches to the corners, it pushes to the outside edges, effectively fighting against the threads trying to dig it out. With my RBRT extractor, if you have a look at the head, the teeth are swept to the left. So it pulls the pressure inward rather than pushing to the outside corners, a much more efficient way to extract a threaded piece of metal. See how those teeth are swept inward? So when you bang mine in and you start pulling it, applying torque, it pulls that pressure inward rather than pushing to the outside corners like a tapered one. So Clay, what I've got here is a demo block. And in that demo block, I'm using a cap screw. But let's say for argument's sake, for purposes that I've snapped the head off a bolt and I've drilled a hole. That's what we have here. So it's not just about cap screws. It can be used on broken studs, anything like that. But I use a cap screw to demo. It's easier for me to do. Right. So we've drilled our hole. We've, we've snapped our bolt. We've drilled our hole. Now we're going to pound our extractor in. All right. Now, an extractor only has one job and that's to bite. The better the bite, the better your chances of getting it out. Absolutely. Right? So what we're gonna do here, I've got Jay to help me demo this, and I'm gonna give Jay a ratchet. Yes, dummy. And Jay, what I'd like you to do is, in the tightening position, so that you can see how well these bite in, go ahead and tighten that down. And I mean, don't, don't be gentle, tighten it down. How's that? Oh. Isn't that something? Mm-hmm. That's a, that is a great bite. That is the best bite of any extractor on the planet. So go ahead and take her out. Reverse her on out of there, Jay. And out she comes. So in a perfect world, we're, told, we're pulling out the broken bolt. Yep. And out she comes. All right. Well done. So now at this point, the next hurdle that we'd have to overcome is to try to separate this to get it apart, right? Now, if you have a look at this one here, the damage was done after trying to get the piece off. It exactly. smashed it all bad, just, it's destroyed one, one time, out. So foreign object removal is our little threaded sleeve that spins down like that, right? And Jay, what I'd like you to do is take that wrench and grab that bolster right there, okay. and then use the ratchet, and that little threaded sleeve just walks it right off the edge. Go ahead. Like a puller? Yeah. Look at that. And off Look she comes. Look at that. Look at it. And because it pushes it off straight and clean, it doesn't damage the head whatsoever. They can be reused over and over and over again. That is amazing. Isn't that something? And you could do that right at the car. It shows how deep it bites into it. Mm -hmm. That was I a pretty good bite for very little depth. So the way this is, it, like, obviously that would be the head was broken off the bolt. Right. And it would be in the F part or flush. whatever you're using. Sure. You would drill a hole. Yep. And I'm assuming it has the drill bit sizes marked. Indeed it does. On the foam tray that these come in, right. the seven-piece set, there's a drill bit index right on there. It takes the guesswork out of what drill bit to use. So you want to drill out the bolt, drive this in as far as you can because... Obviously, the deeper it is, the more surface area it's going to grab. Correct. So, so 
there, now that sleeve performs a couple of other functions that are really neat. I mean, if that's where it stopped, that'd be awesome, right? But it does a couple of other really cool things too. So we're gonna go ahead and drive our, extent, our extractor back into the hole. And tighten it down. Now, let's say for sakes that sometimes when you are extracting a broken bolt, it's kind of an art form. It's kind of a dance, you know, a little back and forth, a little bit of lubrication. Sometimes you got to apply the heat. Sometimes you got to pull out the torch and heat the bolt. If you were to put the naked flame straight to that tool, you're going to burn your tool up and it's going to soften the metal of the tool and, and possibly damage it. What that little sleeve can do is it threads down like that and you can grab yourself a pair of pliers and it'll pop it straight up out of the hole. Now, without damaging the hole, without damaging the tool, now you can go ahead and heat that, 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 that metal up, pound your extractor back in. Now it's all about the bite. That's the third time I've pounded that extractor into that hole. Jay, put a little torque on that, tighten it down. Just see how well it puts in. They bite down just as well the third time as it did the first time. Isn't that something? It's all about the bite. So let's say that you've, you've, you've heated your bolt. Now if you were using a tapered extractor and you banged it in, a lot of times you can get some waller, you know, or chew it up because you've softened that bolt, right. right? Well, the tremendous head bite will stop that from happening, but another little neat thing that that sleeve will do is just spin it down and just give it a little snug, just a little half a turn. Now you've created a little bit of reverse pressure and you've reinforced the head, okay? And it makes the whole thing super stable, super, that just gives you a nice stable platform to extract that piece of metal and reinforces the head. It's not sloppy. It's not sloppy at all. So we'll go ahead and, and we'll crack that bad boy loose and pull her out. And you can see just how nice how well that works. That is amazing. And then once again, we grab it with the ratchet. And another thing with the traditional, when you break one off in a hole, you've got problems, then you have to worry about drilling through that one. So not so much with this design. Nope. And there you go. So you know, another neat little feature of, of our extractor sleeve is, is, is quite simply this. It's not magic. It doesn't scare the threaded piece out of the hole. If it can be unthreaded, if it can be removed through the unthreading method, our extractor will get it out. Sometimes you gotta drill and tap, that's life, right? But because of that neat little sleeve, if you've, even after you've heated it and you've pounded it back out and it's not coming out, you can just use that little sleeve to pop it out of there, go on about drilling and tapping that hole out and go on about your day. So in other words, you're saying if there's a chance it can come out by unthreading, this tool will definitely Absolutely. Absolutely, we'll get it out. That's an extremely bold statement. That is a bold statement. And, and after seeing the demo, I can pretty much agree with you on that because that is impressive. You know, it is just steel. It is. It does have a stressing point. It has a, a torque maximum. If you're working it and whatever you're working on is not coming out, don't over torque the tool. Just simply pop it out, go ahead and drill it, tap it, do what you've got to do to get that car down the road. But that is the best extractor on the planet. RBRT with foreign object removal. Well, let's talk about the set that this comes in. And if we can, can we get a part number on it? We can. The part number is SXE7RBRTFOR. Okay. And it does come in a seven piece set, number one through number seven. Um, it comes in a, a nice foam tray. Like the, just like the RBRT bits. Like the bits. other RBRT bits. It comes in a nice foam tray. And uh, the number one and the number two extractors are the best Phillips head screw removers on the planet. Right. You know, X marks the spot with a Phillips, just drill straight into the middle and use the number one or the number two extractor, takes that Phillips screw out every time, every single time. It's never failed me. Um, 
They are completely lifetime guaranteed. Should you break one or damage one, just hand it into your Mac guy. Even banging on it. Even them. banging on it like that, and we'll give you a new one, no problem at all. You can't beat that. Thank you very much for demonstrating these. Guys, check these RBRT broken bolt remover tools out on your Mac website if you don't have a dealer or if you have a dealer make sure to get your Mac guys oh look at what Jay's this. got Jay went out to the truck and today. grabbed the seven piece set thank you for that buddy I appreciate oh, that and that's the number one through number seven and the drill bit index on the bottom takes the guesswork out of what drill bit exactly to use right. and they are just and as I pull out the bigger number seven you can just see how those teeth are swept inward and didn't you say in the future they were coming out with a bigger set, man? In the future, we're working on uh, number 8 to number 14, something exciting in the works. We're still working on that, sizing, getting the testing done right to get them absolutely perfect before we get them out there. But that is something that we're looking at, yes. That's so. right Well, guys, make sure you check these out because they are your pretty much one shot at getting them out there you go like if they're not going to get them out they're not coming out that's right. it if, they, if, if 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 that extractor doesn't get it out you're drilling and tapping there you go <laughs> all right guys be sure to check them out on mactools.com if you don't have a mac tools dealer if you do get on the truck and take a look at them if he don't have them uh-oh he's not a very good mac tools guy <laughs> all right guys like always thanks for watching the video if you like this video be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. You guys have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.